Welcome back to the Mortgage Marketing Update. I'm Brian DeMarie. I'm a loan originator with Union Home Mortgage and the DeMarie Lending Team. You guys still liking this doo-wop music? It's still my favorite. I don't know how much more of it I got. I got to get out of my system, but maybe a little bit more. We'll see. Anyway, let's talk about the personal consumption expenditure, PCE. It is the Fed's favorite form of inflation or favorite report for inflation. And incomes are down from 7% in February when they were up 10% in January. Spending is down 1% after being up 3.4%, but that's because January's report is coming after, right after that $900 billion stimulus package that got released in December. And you can see it had a big impact on income and spending, uh, but you can see that in the next months, the effects started to wear off pretty easily, even though we had those $600 checks in that month as well. But in March, we did see that we had a $1.9 trillion stimulus where everybody got their $1,400 checks per person, per household, depending on their income. And so we should expect these numbers to go up again in the next month. But like two months ago, we should expect another decrease because these effects are transitory and temporary, and they're only going to last so long. Even looking back on 2020, when we had the stimulus bill coming and people were getting money, we did see a little bit of a bump up in retail sales, but still temporary effects at best. Washington is still talking about a $3 trillion infrastructure bill. We don't know if it's actually going to get approved or not. Uh, but if that comes into play right as our unemployment benefit packages are ending, we could see a really big opportunity for more Americans to get back to work. But keep in mind, for jobs to get created, they actually have to accept those jobs instead of staying on these unemployment systems. Are you a buyer's agent that's having trouble getting your buyer into a contract? Remember, we do manufactured houses. We're one of the few lenders in town that actually do these types of loans, uh, but they need to be a double wide. They need to be built after July, uh, June 15th of 1976 and a couple of other factors there as well. But these are pretty decent deals. I mean, a lot of times they can go over 200,000. Uh, they're a real easy open and shut deal for us. We can close these in 30 days. But if those don't work, remember, we also have renovation loans. Renovation loans are easy as well. We need a little bit longer, 45 days to close. But if you've been taking people out to look at houses and they say, ah, I can't get a contract on this, or I don't like the look of this kitchen or the bathroom I don't really like so much, we can easily roll all of the renovations into the purchase price. And then all of those things can happen post close. So in markets like right now with super low inventory, we have to get creative on how we get them to the finish line. The easiest way for you to send us over a lead is to just send a text message to Lily or myself with the buyer's name and their contact info. We will gladly reach out. If you would like to send us a three-way text message, introducing us to them that way, we call that the white glove handoff. All our videos are backed up on YouTube. All you have to do is type in my name, check us out on Instagram, 